and city leaders are closely watching the forecast for the potential of flooding in the city, but also the impact the tropical weather could have on our lake levels. Yeah, the big question, could it be enough to make it into the watershed and help hold off stage three water restrictions? Our Bill Churchville joins us now with a look at what he's learned. Bill? And right now, it is a wait and see just how much could fall into our watershed. The city has been in talks with the National Weather Service throughout the day. Bottom line, any runoff we get will be a positive thing for our lakes. Rain is on the way as a tropical system develops in the Gulf. Here at City Hall, City Manager South Peter South Zanoni South. says forecast models look promising. But the National Weather Service is pretty certain uh, that the city will see six to eight inches of rain. Uh, watershed, thank God, will see uh, between two to four inches of rain. Currently, our combined lake levels are at 25.1 percent. That's five percent away from entering stage three water restrictions. City leaders have said that we need a significant rain event a good 15 to 20 inches to fall in the right places to make an impact on our lake levels. Uh, what we have seen up to this point is quick showers that have come and gone and haven't really hit the recharge areas. Uh, so we think this will help us in our uh, stage three. It's that long sustained periods of rain we need and something we haven't seen in quite some time. It, this could potentially be extraordinary because the last time we had eight to 10 inches of rain was August of 2022. It was Invest uh, L, and that was enough to where we almost got out of all drought restrictions. What will actually make it into the lakes is still up in the air. The reason we are seeing drought in the watershed, meaning the soil will absorb some of the water we get. Still, Chief Operating Officer for CC Water, Drew Molly, says it will provide us a good opportunity to move the needle and buy us more time from stage three restrictions. It's amazing how things can change pretty quickly. You know, we all know that this is not necessarily the time of the year that we get the most rain, but everything, everything is a different story once we start talking about tropical systems. Keep this in mind, we've been in stage two water restrictions since March of this year. City leaders expect this rain event to get us to or a little over 30% combined lake levels. However, we would need to get up to 40% to eliminate stage two restrictions altogether. Back to you.